morning YouTube. Let's see. Today is 27th. The 27th of May. I don't know what day of pandemic recovery recovery we're in, but it doesn't really matter. We have to make a stop at Walmart because we need more sugar and creamer and some stuff. And Walmart is about 15, 20 miles away because Berkshire Brothers around here would kill you if you had to shop there. It would just literally, you could spend a stimulus check in there in about 20 minutes. No, no crap, kind of high prices. Anyway, we're gonna take off and go find stuff. We also need to find a brake buddy as our brake buddy. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it, but we have a spare one at home, but not with us. So we have to go find a brake buddy for here. So we're on our way to, how do you say it? Maxima. Mejia. Mejia. M-E-X-I-A. Sounds like Maxima to me. Well, but like Mejia, Maxima. whatever. Yes. So we're going to the Wally World and... Uh, we're gonna see if we can find a used brake buddy. I did find one for 50 bucks, but uh, the guy's not answering his ad, and uh, don't have time to screw around with his beer. So I did want to bring to the attention that as a result of this COVID-19, there was many businesses that were getting ready to file for bankruptcy. It was kind of up in the air before the COVID started and uh, many of them are going to now have a reason to bow out and they won't even have to worry about dealing with their collection agencies or uh, creditors. That's uh, Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, um, Steak and Shake, um, yep. Applebee's, Roy Rogers, Hooligans, I guess I could look at mine. There's quite a few. There was a, about 35 well-known brands. Checkers, Railies, Subway. These, Subway. These are companies that as a result of the COVID are going to be going out of business and they will not be returning because they were already getting ready to file bankruptcy before this pandemic started. But I did want to bring that out there and put that out there. So if you enjoy any of your favorites like uh, I have previously mentioned you might want to get a, get out there and enjoy them one last time because when they're gone they won't be coming back. This guy's right on my end. I am going to Black cats, it says. It's about 7,000. 
7,000 people here? I don't remember, I think so. It's bigger than... I see the sign. There it is, Magia. Says the population, 7,459, that's 10 years old. So they've probably grown somewhat. It's cheaper star. here. Star. Looks like it. Yeah, we planned on the beach. I tried to miss that. I don't know what the hell it was. Some wood? Turn left into the parking lot. Jack in the box and a water burger. Here's my mom. Hunting and fishing licenses sold here. Is there anything else you H-E-B. The only meat I um, thought about was chicken. Back at the chicken breast. There's the economy in. Not to be confused with the non-economy in. You want to go in there? Not really. We can get what we need in yeah. Wally World. Yeah. There's a Burger King. must be a Sonic. You know, that wasn't on the list of businesses that are going to close, and I would have thought it was. I would have thought it was. Maxia is a pretty good sized town. There's the Countryside Cafe. There's the Tejas Plaza. Crispy fried chicken by Jim's. Buy some Jim's. That's kind of like Colonel. You have lots of gas stations because you gotta travel so far, you use a yeah. lot of gas right Yep. And you gotta have a, a big ass Ford truck. CBD. Twisty Donuts. Pollo Express. We know where the. Oh, well, there's another. Mexican restaurant. Well, the name is Maxia, so that only makes sense, right? Mexican America. Mexia. Mexican America. I don't see anything that says Tex Mex food, though. Pizza Hut with the Wing Street. We're out of town. Turn Wacko. We're on our way to Wacko, another 40 miles. Yeah, coming back to our um, COVID virus, I wanted to say we stopped in a 
little store, a little uh, thrift store looking for junk. And uh, the lady did bring to our attention that people are not stupid. And this is a little tiny town of 1,800 people. She said the people in the town know this is all about politics. It's not about the, yeah. It's not about any virus. It's, they, they already know that um, President Trump is gonna win the election when it comes time to vote again. This is a nice road, by the way.